morning friends so today i am come with a very nice uh, uh, demonstrations you can see that uh, i basically i am just going to show you a uh, few more informations about the arcgis earth and uh, how you are actually uh, transferring uh, different kind of uh, excel data sets inside arcgis pro okay so that also i am going to demonstrate okay so the beautiful thing which you will going to learn from here is that is whatever the uh, excel sheet we are actually transferring it in a shape shape file format in arcgis pro usually what uh, we are taking those type of data sets in arcgis um, earth uh, many people i seen they are actually using the kml file they are actually going to convert the the kml file and then they are taking it to arcgis earth but the beautiful thing is arcgis earth is nicely supported your shape file which you can directly take inside this arcgis earth and you can do your analysis okay so i hope it will be a very interesting learning for you so please uh, stay with my full video and just check okay so for this uh, i am just going to use few of the data sets okay uh, of the archaeological survey sites of different corner of our india okay so that you see here okay so if you want to uh, open this data means as a shape file in arcgis so so few things which you have to be uh, important and you have to remember this okay so for that you just see here basically i am just taking this data sets in decimal degree okay so either it will be in utm meter okay you have or it will be in decimal degree so then it will be easy uh, to convert in arcgis pro as a point file so sometime it will be in uh, degree minute seconds so i will suggest you then from degree minute seconds you just simply convert it in degree decimal okay so then you can very nicely use this data inside arcgis pro now the next another important thing which you have to do that is you have to go in a field a file okay and you have to use this suppose saves i already did so i am just going to show you as a save as and go to the browse okay so file type so what is the file type which we will going to uh, save for this purpose okay so usually it will be supported by 97 2003 workbook okay so it is xls format you have to need to save in this format or csv any format okay so it will be supported by arcgis and arcgis pro so if it is in xls uh, x this format so then sometime it will be creating an issue so i will suggest it always you go for the xls or any csv format you just save your excel so that it can very nicely convert it in arcgis pro as a point file now the i am going to the arcgis pro and i am i am just going to open the same file you just see here i just go to the add data so see here in add data there is a two more options like either you just add that, that excel sheet directly here and then uh, you can open the point file like arcgis usually we do that okay but here there is one more advantage it without opening the excel sheet you can directly convert that excel sheet in a point and you can only open the point file here okay so that options will be there but uh, for your better understanding i am just first opening a data and then only i am just trying to transfer this file as a shape file okay so let's see so i am just going to add that particular file which i have okay so this is excel data sets okay so that i am just going to click double click on that uh, let's wait for a few minutes to uh, get uh, the sheet okay so all my data sets in my sheet one okay so here i'm just selecting the sheet one as a, as you see here my data sets are in sheet one so that's why i'm just taking this sheet one data okay and then i am just uh, simply click on okay okay so now you just see uh, you can able to see my uh, data on the table so where uh, we just showing you in excel sheets so see same data sets also came here now the question is how i'm going to convert this data into a shape file so for that i'm just simply right click on this okay go to the display xy data sets and i am just giving a uh, cis x field it should be a longitude and y field should be a latitude and as you see here i am just using the geographic coordinate system as you see why why we are actually using this because uh, whenever we are actually going to see the location only where it is over the 3d world so i just only want to see the location so in that case i can use the geographic coordinate system as we know about that okay so i am just simply click on okay and then see 
uh, very nicely it will going to convert all the points okay as a shift file so now if you want to save it as a shape file also so then just uh, right click over it okay go to the data go to the export features and wherever you want to save this data okay so there you can save this data as uh, the shape file which you just created okay so for this i'm just uh, saving it uh, here okay so let's e drive okay so i'm just uh, saving these data sets i giving a name okay so our, it is just uh, um, you can say this i just serve okay so i am just uh, taking any folder here and i giving a name as a gps gps okay so simply click on okay so see here now i have this all the uh, data files okay i just removing this okay so this is now my main file so which i have it here and i i just uh, if you want to change the means uh, this pattern and all so you can do that from here simply you can click and it will change okay so now the question is this gps which i just saved okay so uh, what i saved i saved here in this particular folder okay so as you seen here uh, i just saved in uh, this particular folder but it is actually uh, means you should not see from here you should go in this particular folder so that you can able to see that data okay so e drive i go okay so there i have my data under this okay so this is the gpx data sets so this gps data sets which i just uh, save as a shape file okay now the wonderful thing is you can directly open this shape file inside the arcgis art okay so how will do that okay so that will be the very interesting thing so see here i am just trying to go in the plus sign to adding my data so here you can add data from arcgis online so if you go for your sign in options you can add your data sets whatever you have in in your arcgis online content so you can access that data arcgis online any data sets you can access so these are the few data which you can access okay and i am just going to add my particular file which i just want to open it as a from the shape file so just see here i can go to that particular folder and this is the only shape files file I, is there okay so this shape file is directly supported okay by arcgis art so that's the wonderful thing so any means most of our analysis we are actually doing over the shape files na? so any shape files you can able to open is arcgis art and, and you can use for that purpose okay and there is one more beautiful thing you know this arcgis art is capable to do any kind of 3d based analysis also uh, like if you want to go for a field okay and you want to see some informations of your area in 3d and you want to go for the cross profile things okay everything you can do it here very nicely okay? just see here this is now in a 2d file okay so if i just want to just press right click of your mouse and put it drag down for that okay so see wonderfully it is actually going to convert it in in a 3d map okay so this is just a 3d map which will just create it and if you just want to and so many things you can operate like here if i go for the near just see here how wonderful it will go near okay so if you want to go for the far it will go a little far if you want to put a pitch so see very nicely it will pitched okay and then if you want a, a little little more near okay so that i will go a little bit of beautiful things you can do it here so now you just see your most beautiful thing that is um, the 360 degree view of your study area so before going in for any study for you uh, means any any kind of analysis you want to go for a study area you can check the view from here and then only you can decide and go okay so just you just see here here you can go for the 360 degree view rotations and how nicely you can see the 360 degree view of that particular area which you are actually want to go for the uh, your investigation purpose in the field okay and this video you can capture okay and you can attach it in your powerpoint ppt's okay and then also you can represent so is it very wonderful now so now if you want to make a cross profile also you can make it suppose you can go to simply measure tools okay and you can take it this uh, path one you can take it is elevation profile okay and you can simply draw elevation profile see here okay so i can make it that also 
and that cross profile it will be a very nicely you can able to see uh, here and this cross profile if you want you can export it also with your 360 degree uh, view for your study area if you want to attach this with that this cross profile you can also attach so that it will be a very interesting uh, for the many people okay so so they will get an idea about where you are actually going for the field so what is the height of this particular area so is it visible to go there for doing any kind of investigation is possible or not so all these informations they can create before going in the field and this is the thing so if you want to save it so you can save it in png okay so wherever you want to save okay television profile change so you can save this also so that it will be save in that particular folder where you have this okay see this is the elevation profile which i just created okay so this is also you can add with this so this is the uh, part of the today's demo it is a very small demo but it is actually a very interesting thing so i i just want you people should give a comment on this that how you like this demo okay so i hope uh, it will be a very useful thing and i will suggest every one of you to use uh, this uh, arcgis earth okay to doing your analysis to check your shape files okay so whatever it will be see here i am just showing you a very nice thing like indian uh, suppose any kind of uh, means any i have one state data sets okay so if you want to open that particular shape file here so directly it can open so that's the wonderful thing over here okay so see here i have few data vector data of that particular region of this bhubaneswar city so simply if i click on open so automatically it will go and sit over the bhubaneswar city where it is actually belonging from so see here this is the very nicely you can able to see the bhubaneswar city see here okay so this is the city bhubaneswar which you have even you can operate here uh, so many uh, means you can say base map options will be there if you go with the login options so you will get more options for your see here terrain options will be there if you want to do any kind of terrain related analysis okay or base maps if you want to change so that also you can able to change so suppose this is this map so if you want to check the topographic map so see here this is a bhuvanesha city map and this is the shape file which you just uh, uploaded okay so uh, that is the interesting part of uh, this uh, means uh, you can say arcgis art and you can do many kind of uh, means uh, animations also over here so uh, therefore that i am just going to show you some other time okay so how you are actually uh, going to do the animations over there but the wonderful thing is you can you can add a bookmark here of the particular region and all okay so all these things you can do it here okay so this is the this a 3d part which is actually very interesting okay so which i just showed you here you have a many options to operate this one kind of 3d so you can see this elevation profile from here also you can do okay site lining okay line of sites okay so from uh, which place to if you are standing from a particular point so up to what you can able to see okay so that you can uh, able to create from here okay so that is the means i uh, just i'm just showing means just for your information like from uh, animation you can create it here from camera from points okay so all these things even for the view and anal view shed analysis also see how much area you can able to see from a particular points okay so see here if i click over this particular points so whatever it is showing in a visible that is the visible and that is uh, beyond range that uh, that uh, means uh, that pink side will be okay so let's see here if i stay st standing here so i can see this is sky means it's visible from that particular region but if i if i just go here and i can see so whatever the area can see whatever the area i not i not able to see so that it will be marked with as uh, as the color so i just request you explore this okay and uh, this will be a very interesting for you this arcgis art this is you can use it for your know, mobile version also so and you can use it as a desktop version also so thank you for uh, today's session so i hope uh, you just uh, like my video okay so i will request you please uh, share and subscribe my channel thank you thank you very much